Dan Willis here, and in this video we're going to talk about prepaid debit credit cards. So there's two types really. There's prepaid cards that banks, like big banks, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, will issue. And these cards are just like a checking and a savings account. You make purchases, the money's taken out of your account. You can go and deposit money in your account by visiting a branch location. And then if you are in check systems though, there's the rest of the prepaid credit card debit cards. This is the vast majority of prepaid credit cards. These are the cards you see at Walmart. Um, American Express has them. Capital One has them. Uh, <laughs> you see celebrities endorse these cards. These cards are created for people without a checking account that are in check systems or for some other reason can't get access to a regular banking and checking account. And the difference is with these, you're going to have to first load money on your account. You can do this with cash. It's usually going to cost you a fee to buy like a reload pack. You can see these reload packs at drugstores, CVS, um, Walmart even sells them. There's a couple things when it comes to the fees with these, and we'll talk about that in just a second, but you reload cash, or you can also like sign up for direct deposit just like with a major bank prepaid check card. So you can have your uh, paycheck or government benefit check or pension check automatically deposited into your account, even if you are in check systems. Uh, this can save you tons of money if you're paying for check cashing fees, which is absurd. <laughs> uh, so some of the fees, assuming you're in check systems, if you're not in check systems and you're with a major bank, then you shouldn't have to pay any fees. You should have something where you can use your card like 10 times in a month and it's free. But if you are in check systems, you are probably going to have to pay a reasonable fee. This fee shouldn't be any more than five bucks a month. It really shouldn't. Uh, if you're paying any more than about five bucks a month, especially today, towards the end of 2013, you are paying too much. Um, so typically there'll be some cards will charge you an activation fee or like a purchase fee. I would advise you to avoid those cards because there's others that you can apply for online and get for free. Uh, next, there's going to be like a monthly fee. And this monthly fee, it's just like a checking account. Like major banks are now charging uh, even account holders monthly fees. Um, with that in mind, you shouldn't pay any more than $4.95 a month as a monthly fee. And be careful because some of these companies will charge you the activation fee after you get the card. And then when you first try and load money on it, they'll take the activation fee out of that. Uh, you really have to check out some of these terms and conditions because a lot of companies, especially years in the past, have just hidden fees all over the place. Uh, when this industry first started, there was one company that would charge you $1 for every transaction. And uh, they capped that out, but they would wait, it was like a full 30 or 60 days before they would refund you the extra charges. So please, make sure you know what you're getting before you apply and don't assume that they're all just the same. They really aren't. Uh, a couple of the good ones, Capital One has a good Capital One prepaid MasterCard. American Express prepaid cards are very good too. However, that's going to be an American Express card. Um, I believe there's one of them where you can get it issued as a Visa or a MasterCard. Uh, that's relevant where you can use your card for purchases. Um, so be careful and visit yourbadcreditcard.net to see some reviews of some popular prepaid cards. We also create a free report, which is the seven super simple steps to cleaning up your credit report. Uh, you don't have to just live with bad credit. And please don't. Please do your research and find a good prepaid card. There's plenty of good ones, and these really can be very beneficial to you. Um, saving you check cashing fees, using free direct deposit. It's a lot more scary than carrying cash. And uh, I forgot to mention, but there is an online bill payment system with some of the really good ones where they'll give you for free the ability to send checks and send payments. And this will save you from having to buy money orders and stuff. Uh, your card will be accepted online and over the phone as long as it's a Visa and a MasterCard. 
And uh, visit yourbadcreditcard.net, grab our free report, and see some more reviews. And leave a, leave a comment or a question uh, below if you have any. And please like this video and share it with your friends and family. Have a great afternoon. Thanks for watching.